What is going on, broskies? As you can see, we has a box. And the box is from Ring, Ring Scott. Ow, I just stabbed myself. As I stab myself. There we go. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Ring Sky Collectibles. Well, what do we have in here? It could be one of two things as my tripod falls. I believe it is Elite 82. But it could be Unrivaled 2. So, regardless, it's a banger. Not going to say which one I'm hoping it is. Ow, look, I'm bleeding. But, let's get into it. Oh, oh. Okay. It is Elite 8 2. And we got a new cool new booklet. Is all that. Cool. <laughs> Look who we got in here. Johnny Mundo, Johnny Morrison, Johnny Impact, Keith Lee Bask in his glory. And Gronk. Pit by is he wearing pit vipers? If he doesn't come with his pit vipers, I'm going to be very upset. We'll pull out Mr. Lee first. I don't know which is most. Probably John Morrison is probably least wanted right now because he had the Survivor Series one. There's Gronkowski. Now we're just going to set that back there. Johnny Mundo, Intercontinental Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion. ECW champion, he was also the world tag team champion and the regular tag team champion, and Impact champion, and Lucha Underground champion. Well, they can't say that. The Guru of Greatness. Push the Guru. Oh, 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 oh. There, there's his face. Oh, 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 oh. Look what we got here with the, the cloth. Oh, oh, oh. I promise I'm not. Yeah. Let's cut into him. Ow, I'm bleeding. Oof. Do I have to put a blood warning? Hope. Ah. Hope not. Oh, oh shit. Ah. Johnny. Take all his stuff out. Ah. Please, please. Oh, perfect. Now we're just gonna... Noise. A lot of noise. And here's Johnny Impact's box. Let's look at Johnny Impact. Oof, I'm already gonna complain. <laughs> I don't wanna complain. But I think I might have to. Uh, I haven't even taken this jacket off. And I think I'm going to complain. These arms are so hard to put down right next to him. So they're out like this. And no one stands like this. Come on, Mattel. Let's take off this jacket. Oh. Ah! Dude. Please, Mattel. Please fix this. His shoulders are so small. Like his arms are itty bitty for him to be in this jack tort. I mean, Johnny John Morrison is freaking gorgeous. No homo, but look, you can just see in that picture, man's is built. But like these arms, dude, you could have gave him slightly bigger arms. I mean, I guess they kind of work, but it makes it harder to look nice. Let's put his bandana and stuff on. If I. Can do. There we go, Johnny. Here is Jonathan Mundo. And as you can see, the gorgeous, gorgeous pants. Gorgeous. Those are actually really nice. I love the artwork on that. Then this is a really good face scan. It really captures his likeness. Like, this is a good figure. 
just the shoulders are triggering me. Then, oh, this jacket, dude. Look at that. You could buy another one of these and use this for edge. Like, this is amazing. I use the Defining Moment Sting Jacket for my edge. But you could use this one. Like, and I'm so glad they gave us a cloth. Here is the last Johnny Mundo. And as you can see, I put the, the Edge Heads jacket on it because he needs a jacket. Well, now we can take that and... Ah! Hate it. Terrible. Disgusting. Let's do some figure comparisons, won't you? Uh, don't we? Uh, yeah, let's, do some, let's do some figure comparisons. Mundo. This is Johnny Nitro. And this is John Morrison. So, you know, since they're not the same person. It, okay, that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Look, 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 look at the arm differential. Look at the arm differential. Oh, my God. They should have used these shoulders and this arm for this because it looks better. But, I mean, he, he looks a little jack. It's kind of like um, Dolph Ziggler syndrome. But, like, come on, bro. You can't tell me this doesn't look better on this torso than this. It might not be the most accurate, but, like, come on. Here's the hair comparisons. This one's lighter. Like This one looks nicer. <laughs> and then, obviously, the faces. Look how much younger this one is. And then this one. But here they are. I mean, they're pretty, pretty litty. Um, let's put the jacket on here. If it'll let me. Please. Please, 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 please. There we go. See, now that doesn't look bad. A little weird, but it doesn't look bad. It works, because he always be coming out in these extravagant coats. I think, like, during this era, he wore more fluffy coats and stuff. And then that era, well, now he wears, like, leather isk. And then you got... The Johnny glasses and bandana, and they're not separate, so you can't. Well, could you? I was gonna say they aren't separate, so you couldn't put it on here. Well, I mean, you could, but it's not gonna look right, so you can just use these shades right here. And these shades do have uh, designs on them. I wish they were colored in, but at least they have designs. You can just throw right there, Johnny! <laughs> And then, put on anything with this one. Johnny. Yeah, oh. Okay, they're right there. Okay, back to the figure. Gorgeous. His legs are kind of loosey. But it's okay. Is he on ball joints? Yes, he is on ball joints. And look at that. That is amazing. Start starting press. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Somebody please take these from me. And then this, the torso, like right there is loose. But like right there is super tight. So... Then I'll show you. It's just a little loose, just a little, but it's not a big deal. This one, this one was really not loose at all. I was super happy when I got this guy. But yeah, there's Johnny's Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, Johnny Lucha, Johnny Champion, Johnny Johnny Nitro, Johnny. <laughs> so you know, if new Johnny wants to pow and boom, whoa. Sh sh Shooting star press. Then you can do that. No, oh, wow. Even just like the back pockets. That's awesome. Usually they don't even bother the back pockets on figures. So, Johnny, you are a gorgeous specimen. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough of Johnny. So, I'm going to dress him back up. We're going to put his younger comrade back there who can't even, who can't stand for shit. It's because these things are on backwards, so it. Yeah. I saw MDT do it. I should probably do it, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm lazy. So, yeah, well, this, I, I didn't pay enough attention to these. This is actually really nice. I believe, yeah, it's just painted on, but it looks really cool. I like that it's um, just one thing, so you, you don't have to worry. But then again, I don't like that it's just one thing because then you can't really put on the headband and the old glasses or whatever ish you want to do. So, Johnny, st stand. Okay, old, okay. Johnny, knock over, or young Johnny. And Johnny goes back there. Next, the most, okay, 
by far the least anticipated figure in this set was Gronk. Because everyone was pissed because, like, they gave Gronk a figure, but they didn't give, like, Leo Rush or Mary Kanellis or whatever her name is. I'm sorry, I didn't really watch her. I only recently got back into WWE. And here we are now. So let's slit Gronk's box. Oh, shit, we didn't even look at him. And he comes with the Pit Vipers. All right, best figure in the set. He comes with the Pit Vipers. <laughs> All jokes aside, let's free him. Ah, I can't get these hands out. There we go. Hand out, hand off. He's a football player. <laughs> Speaking of football player, them Buccaneers are doing terrible. Gronk ain't doing his best, but, you know, he's not prime Gronk anymore. Career highlights. He should. They should have put Super Bowl champion. Three-time Super Bowl champion or something like that. Didn't he win Rookie of the Year, too? Maybe not. I forgot what draft class he was in. If he was in that amazing 2011 draft, draft class, then he didn't. Oh, he most importantly, he comes with the Pit Vipers. Best figure in the set. He has the Pit Vipers. There he is. Now, I actually like this figure. I wasn't upset. I mean, obviously, it would have been nice to see, like, Leo Rush or Mary Canellis get them. But if I'm butchering her name, I'm so sorry. I didn't really watch her, but I know a lot of people really wanted her figure. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention Morrison comes with Fist's hands, too. But, you know, you know, you know how I feel about those. Gronk. Okay, already, I'm going to point out this series. The cloth accessories, last series and this series, are freaking amazing. Like, I don't think Keith Lee's is cloth. No, it's not. But Gronk's is cloth. Morrison's is cloth. And so is Finjamin Balor, which I'm going to get in retail because the figure's awesome. But I didn't want to pay because it'll probably sell for him like the last one did. Back to Gronk. You know, King Gronk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Gronk. I'm a Panthers fan. So I don't like you. Gronk. I mean, <laughs> we should probably, you know, get into the review. But, you know, you know, we got to have some fun around here. So, your pretty standard outfit. I mean, it's, it is what he was wearing. It's accurate. The wife beater. <laughs> the wife beater. Well, it's not a wife beater. It's actually just a cut-off sleeve shirt. But, you know, I'm going to call it a wife beater because, you know, why not? Then, I like the design on the pants. The little MDT leopard design. That's, is that tiger? I think it's tiger. I'm just going <sighs> to... Zebra. This is... I, it... <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, okay. I'll just side. And... God dang, these arms. Hey, that one didn't do bad. Oh, oh, I heard cracks. Okay, that's better. Dude, he has no arm muscle. And same thing with Mundo. Up here is loose. Up here is not, but there is Gronk Mania when he won the 24 7 championship off my boy R Truth. And then R Truth beat him in like a car or something like that. I don't know. Weird storyline. Head scan. Awesome head scan. Like, actually, a genuinely awesome head scan. Like, the mouth opens kind of weird, but that's a really cool head scan. And then, same with the attire. It's simple but cool. It says Gronk Mania over here. Then it has the blue zebra right here. He's got the white shoe. Oh, whoa, hold up. They even added the details on the shoes. Like, I know that you get like, oh, you're getting excited for no reason. They never do that. <laughs> I was really expecting him to just get white shoes. Because what was he wearing Adidas or Nikes? What was he wearing? I don't know, but they had... Okay, you know what? Props to Mattel. Props, 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 props. Would have rather seen like a Karrion Cross or a Damian Priest in this set or another Kofi because you know I'm up with Kofi. But you, it, it's fine. We like Gronk. See, I got this figure. I don't know. I feel like this figure is going to be worth something eventually. And also, I think Gronk is a cool guy like outside of football. I hate him in football. But outside of football, he's really cool. So I'm definitely going to use him in the Fed somehow, some way. He will definitely be in the Fed. But yeah, typical elite rotation. And let's look at this gorgeous jacket. You saw MDT, he already confirmed on his Instagram that his figure would definitely be wearing this because it is the MDT live jacket. <laughs> no, this is vindication. Oof. Ah. Ah. I'm sorry, I didn't want to put you that. I'm so sorry. If this thing would open. 
I hate, don't you guys hate when you get jackets on their sleeves get like that and you just can't get them open? Okay, jacket. If this will work. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. I am impressed. This is Gronk Mania. Who cares? But I am impressed with the jacket. It's really cool. And then he comes with the microphone. Mine's warped, but I don't necessarily care. Do I have the Street Profits microphone here? Because, you know, I reviewed the Street Profits last time, and one of them came with a microphone. Apparently, I don't have their microphone here. Uh, all right. <laughs> I thought I did. But I think they are, they are the... Whoop. I think they are the exact same thing. Microphone, because, you know, he was doing commentary in WrestleMania, and that was right in his hand. I like these microphones better than the old ones. This is one that came with the Matt Hardy, because they just look nicer, and they slide in easier. So, let me just take that from you, Gronk. You don't need that. So, yeah, let's get him dressed up again. And, oh, the Pit Vipers. I'm going to completely re I love these Pit Vipers. I don't like wearing pit vipers myself, but the hype around them, I like seeing other people wear them. I don't know. I just think it's funny. And obviously, they couldn't write viper on the side, copyright, but did, I, I'm so glad it came with the pit vipers. <laughs> like, that's the smallest thing on this figure, and it <laughs> is probably my favorite touch. I was really hoping he'd come with the pit vipers. I think ringside showed him that he did come with the pit vipers, but I didn't look, so... I didn't look at any of these figures' final packaging releases, so this is this is new to me. This, this is as new as this is this is this is this is new as me. This is new to me as it is you. So. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Ernest New York played in New England and now plays in Tampa Bay. Okay, we're not gonna get your oh my god jacket looks sick. It's kind of weird, like looking like having it on him like this. But it's accurate, and I like it, and we throw on the Pit Vipers, and it's Gronk. So yeah, there's the Gronk figure. I mean, I know a lot of people were not happy with this at all, because he literally showed up to like four or five shows and got a figure. But I mean, Mattel saw money and said yes. Finally, the most anticipated figure, uh, as I knock over Gronk. Arguably, okay, I gotta say arguably here. Arguably, the most anticip stand up, anticipated pig, anticipated the uh, arguably the most anticipated figure in this set, Kenneth Lee. I know it's Keith, but you know Kenneth K. Yeah, K. Okay, yeah. Let's get him open, and there he is in the box, in all in his glory. Get out of the box, Keith. Get out of the box, Keith's jacket. Get out of the box, Keith's hands. Bask in his glory. Oh, bask in his glory. For he is limitless. Okay, okay. Just got him out. Already complaining. Look at this. Mattel! Bro, come on, dog. Shoulders are not bad. This is the first, like, bigger figure I've gotten with the shoulders aren't ass out of box. But, like, come on, Mattel. That's kind of odd. Awful. And then right here has the same thing as the other two in there. These are really loose. But apart from that, Keith Lee basking his glory. Amazing. And is he on ball joints? He is on ball joints, so he can do all the super physically impossible athletic stuff he does. And my complaint, apart from the loosey-goosey chest, I wanted him to come with the NXT Championship so bad. Like, it, it, ha it has it on the box that he was NXT Champion. So I don't understand why they couldn't just throw the championship with him. Because who did it come with? It came with... Um, did it come with Drew McIntyre? So clearly they have them. They could have just threw it on there. So I would have enjoyed if it came with that. If it didn't, oh uh, well. Well it, well, it didn't, so. Oh well, but I would have enjoyed if it did. Uh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the, like, it looks like him. I like the basic one better, but I'm not about to track down that basic because it's crazy expensive. 
And then I like this attire too. I like the pink one better, but I wasn't going to pay the extra like $10, $20 for it. So we got this one. Kenneth, Keith, Toby Keith, Keith Lee. Now, accessory wise, all he comes with is his jacket. Ideal, this would have been rubber. I mean, rubber. Yeah, rubber. This would have been cloth, but you know, you don't always get what you want. With this figure, I didn't get a lot of what I wanted. Get in there. There we go. I hate these snaps. I, I don't know why. I guess I'm just stupid because I always struggle on getting them back in place. Like, yeah, I can't even... <laughs> Even on the Seth Rollins, like, I just never really buttoned it back. Ow! I, I guess I'm just slow, but, you know. And there's Keith Lee in his jacket. It would have been better, looked better if it was cloth, but, you know. We got, we finally got Keith Lee. And I think this is a new torso. So, I mean, I guess we can't hard, we can't really complain a lot. But I'm still going to complain because, you know... Action figure community. All we do is complain. Keith Lee. Um, the figure, it has a bit loose. but uh, It's a pretty good figure. I mean, for the most anticipated, I think I'm kind of let down. Because mine's loose and all. But but I still like it. And I'm glad to finally have Keith Lee. I loved Keith Lee in NXT. Now they've just destroyed him. On, I don't know what they're doing with him on Raw. But please send him back to NXT. Or, do, or treat him like he... Change his attire... That new, like, Rob Van Dam, the tr extra, extra, extra large attire? No! No, 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 no! He was fine with the trunks. Please, please, please change it back. Please. Like, please. Y'all are doing my man dirty on Raw. He's caught between the threesome of him, Orton, and McIntyre. But he's not getting what he deserves. I think he's on, like, the Raw team now for... I haven't watched Raw in a little bit. I've been busy. But I think he's on, like, the Raw the Raw uh, Survivor Series team. Which is already terrible. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully they don't win it. They, you know, I kind of feel like... They, they might just give it to NXT again. Maybe SmackDown will win it. SmackDown should win it. SmackDown deserves it more. But, yeah. Anyway, I would like to concede the video. Sorry about that, Mama called. Anyway, Kenneth Lee looks good. The attire works. I God, man. It looks so ugly like that, bro. I wish they would have... Like, they already gave us so much cloth. I don't think I, we've seen a sleeveless hoodie cloth. Like, have we? I don't think we have. Like, I'm looking, I'm looking around and I don't think we've had a hooded, a uh, sleeveless hoodie, sleeveless jacket cloth. Which... You would think, since you wouldn't have to do the sleeves, it would, you know, cost less money. I mean, hell, you did all the designs right here for Gronk. May as well throw in the extra bone. People would buy more. But yeah, we got Keith Lee. Yeah, I'm going to rank him last in the figures I got. Well, I mean, the figure, the hype behind it, he would be first. But now that I have it in hand and that it's super loose and that this is really ugly and I'm not a fan of the head sculpt. I love Keith Lee, still going to use him in the Fed, still love the figure, he's still going to get a push probably, but compared to the other two which exceeded um, that one word, Keith, I am sorry buddy, you're amazing, but I'm going to have to rank you last, you know, if I had the other figures I wouldn't rank him last, it would be probably Jerry the King, Alexa Bliss, then Keith Lee, Finn Balor, the other two. Ah, next I'm going to have to go with Johnny. God, it hates. I hate. I hate putting Gronk at, in, at number one. I hate it. <laughs> but I'm going to have to put Johnny Mundo simply because the cloth robe is beautiful and we love Johnny. And the only reason is because we already have another figure of his, the Survivor Series one. Right here. So he, I didn't have as much hype for him because I already had one. And then I'm going to have to put Gronk at one. God, I hate this. But, like, just the detail on the cloth and the pants and the pit vipers and the gorgeous head scan. Like, I, I hate it. But I have to do what I have to do. And he comes with a 24-7 title. I already have this with Truth. And why is this so nasty looking? Hold on, let me look at my other 24-7 belt. Where's it at? Uh, 
Okay, they're the exact same. I don't know. It's the Gronk one looked worse. I, I don't know. Well, now we got two of those. 24-7 tag team. Hey, hold up. Hold on. That might be... It might be something. Anyway, we got our figures and Johnny Mundo. Uh, jo oh, no. Oh, shoot. Okay, stand up. Oh, John Morrison. Stand up, Gronk. John Morrison's going to the top. You guys can't see that. Top. Oh, shooting star press on Gronk. And Keith Lee didn't fall. And then what's this? It's Johnny Nitro. Uh, shooting star press. Ah! Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you later. Bye.